They kept his commandments and walked in his light. His commandments weren't burdensome, but were their delight. For they loved to live for their heavenly king. They praised him and worshipped him and often would sing. They grew older and wiser on this narrow path until the path came to an end at the bottom of a hill. They gazed there in silence, and their hearts stood still. No sight had ever given them such a thrill, for they saw the city of glory nearby. Their hearts overflowed joy as they began to cry. Then they saw through the tears that were filling their eyes, two shining ones appeared, much to their surprise. You must go through the dark water, I'm sorry to say, for even the Lord Jesus had to pass that way. Is there no other way for us to get across? Perhaps a bridge or a boat so our lives won't be lost. Nothing of yours can cross the river, but don't pout. You brought nothing into this world. You can take nothing out. You must enter these waters where you'll finally lose your breath. For this cold river is called the dark river of death. Jesus said, whoever seeks to save his life will lose it. Then he himself died on the cross to prove it. But he rose again and is forever alive, so that everyone who believes in his name, when they die, just like him, from death and the grave will arise. So remember, my son, as you pass through the cold, dark water, to trust and believe in your heavenly Father. Well, if this is the end of my pilgrimage through this life, please take this letter and book to my children and wife. For I pray God in his mercy will pluck them from the fire that will soon come to the city of destruction. As you have prayed, these things I will deliver to your family as you pass through the river. This river would terrify me if I were alone, but I know God is with me here to bring me home. And because I know I will soon see my God and King, Death has lost its power and sting. My comfort in life, and now as death draws near, is how I belong to Jesus. I have nothing to fear. Well done, good and faithful servant will soon ring in my ear. We have fought the good fight. This race we have won. And our everlasting journey has just begun. songs will quiver with the melody of peace. 
So I awoke, and behold, it was all a dream. But I wondered to myself, what did this all mean? Was it true that the world would be burned up in fire? I simply had to know, so I began to inquire. In an old church nearby, I found a familiar book. And just like Pilgrim, as I opened it to look, I read words that told me of the danger of sin. And I knew as a sinner the great danger I was in. Just like Pilgrim, sin's heavy burden I could feel. For I knew the wrath of God and his judgment were real. And I wept over my sin. My eyes cried a flood. Then I read of the cross where Jesus shed his blood. So I repented from sin, bowed my knees, and I prayed. God heard my heart's prayer, and on that day, I was saved. Like Christian from my dream, thinking often of what I learned and all those things I've seen. I've learned when I'm in the swamp of discouragement to pray, and God who hears our prayers will send help our way. I've learned that some who seem wise are actually fools, and that we can't be saved by keeping the rules. I've learned there's only one place which takes sin's burden away, at the cross of Jesus, where he forgives sinners who come to him and pray. I've learned that when Satan attacks to call upon the Lord, to take up the shield of faith and the word of God like a sword, I've learned that all the worldly things that most people so treasure cannot compare with heaven's glorious joy and everlasting pleasure. I've learned that following Jesus may be hard and full of pain, but it will be worth it when the trumpet blasts and he comes again. I've learned to trust God's promises when I'm locked in despair because he knows just how I feel and listens to my prayer. The lesson I remember every day from my dream is to live for my king, not the things that are seen. The Bible says Jesus came to die for our sin. He was buried three days, then he rose up again. He loves you, each one, so he died in your place, so you could live forever with him face to face. If you know Jesus died for your sin and has the power to save, then today, believe in the gospel. Trust Jesus. Be brave. Let today be the day you begin your own story as a pilgrim on a journey to the city of glory.